Hey everyone. What I wanted to do today is share a little bit of my story. Um, so if you'll indulge me. Uh, and a little bit of, about where all of this stuff came from. So picture this. It's December and I am sitting in a meeting room on a video conference call with my boss uh, and his colleague. And they've just told me that we need to make 200 people redundant. And all going well, we will work through this process of letting people know and, um, and you know, working through a consultation period and then coming up with the, the final decision. Uh, that'll, that'll all be sorted by Christmas, all going well. And I remember looking across at, at my boss on video and, um, and his eyes were sad. And I looked at his colleague who was waiting for my reaction. And I said to him, you've had this in planning for 18 months. This is not a new thing. When we started this conversation two months ago about actually doing this, you said to me that we weren't going to do it before Christmas. And, and we, we said that we wouldn't do that to people, that we would do it in the new year, probably around March, uh, at, a, at a period where you know, there was more opportunity for people and, and that whatever we did, we would not do this before Christmas. And this person turned around to me and said, things have changed, got to be done. And I remember sitting there, I could, I could feel my feet on the ground. I could feel the blood rising and my heart starting to beat faster. I could feel my body tensing. And I could smell the carcinogenic plastic and the just everything in the room was making me nauseous. I'm sure I probably frowned. <laughs> and I remember at that point, it was this moment where I'm sitting there looking at these two people, one of whom I trust deeply, who's looking devastated back at me, and another who is almost egging me on for an emotional response, like, you don't get it with this business, this is something that needs to be done, give me something to work with so that I can dismiss you as um, not commercially savvy or, or lacking acumen. And it was just one of those points where I remember thinking, we're so done. I'm not doing, I w I'm never, ever going to let myself end up in this position again. I'm, I'm not going to have somebody else put me into this position where um, I'm having to execute a plan that they've come up with. Now, don't get me wrong, the the loss of jobs needed to happen. As I said, it was something that we'd been planning for. Um, it had been in the, in, the, in the works since before I started in the role and it was, it was something that needed to be done, so I don't dispute that. But what I've been getting really sick of lately is this conversation that says there is an external factor that has meant that I am now going to make this decision with a complete lack of humanity and this completely dehumanizing decision um, and I'm not going to allow people the dignity and the compassion and the grace to work through it and it, for me that was one of those moments it was just we'll never do this again um, and I swore that there had to be a better way I, I felt it in my bones that it's not that these decisions don't get made, it's not that we don't have to make tough calls from time to time, but it's the way in which we make these decisions with some respect for the people who work for us, with um, some consideration of someone other than ourselves. And I remember this villain was sort of created in my mind of the, the archetypical corporate suit who's just making a decision to hit budget so that he gets his bonus at the end of the year. Um, and so from that point on, I, I swore to myself I'd never do it again. Um, I'd never be in that position again. I would never let my work be the reason why people made those decisions. And um, it's part of why I shared the, the video about only dummies execute on the benefits a couple of weeks back because uh, the, the journey from that point onwards was really about how do we 
build a set of techniques and a, and a set of tools that are going to help us to run our organizations in an efficient, profitable manner, but do it with some compassion and some humanity and stop dehumanizing our people through the decisions that we make. Stop turning ourselves into that corporate villain. Stop with the coercion and the greed and the, you know, the distrust and all of those things that people accuse us of when we work in, in big organizations and actually start to work through it as real people with real lives, real feelings, real emotion uh, and, and do that in a way that makes sense. So I'm going to leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger. I won't finish the story. It obviously didn't end there. And I promise I will share the rest of the story with you over the coming weeks and months um, through various, various channels. But I wanted to start there and, uh, and give you a bit of an insight into some of what really motivates me and drives me to do the work that I do and to connect with people like yourselves who are passionate about the same things. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a wonderful week. It's Friday morning here in New Zealand and we've got a beautiful autumn day. Uh, so I'm going to get outside and have a bit of a stretch and hang out and enjoy some sunshine while it lasts because it's not going to be around for long. Have a great one and um, drop me a comment below. I'd love to hear what you're thinking. Thanks.